John chapter 12, New American Standard Version. Therefore, six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they made him a dinner there, and Martha was serving, and Lazarus was one of those reclining at the table with him. Mary then took a pound of very expensive perfume of pure nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair, and the house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who intended to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the proceeds given to the poor? Now he said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief, and as he kept the money box, he used to steal from what was put in it. Therefore Jesus said, Leave her alone, so that she may keep it for the day of my burial. For you always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, and they came, not on account of Jesus only, but so that they may also see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death also, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and were believing in Jesus. On the next day, when the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took the branches of the palm trees and went out to meet him and began shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, indeed the King of Israel. Jesus, finding a young donkey, sat on it as it is written, Do not fear, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. These things his disciples did not understand at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things were written of him and that they had done these things for him. So the people who were with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to testify about him. For this reason also the people went to meet him because they heard that he had performed this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see that you are not accomplishing anything. Look, the world has gone after him. Now there were some Greeks among those who were going up to worship at the feast. These people then came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and were making a request of him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew, then Andrew and Philip came and told Jesus. But Peter answered them by saying, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. <clears throat> the one who loves his life loses it. And the one who hates his life in this world will keep it to eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the father will be honoured will honour him. Now, my soul has become troubled, and what am I to say? Father, save me from this hour. But for the purpose, I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came out of heaven. I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. So the crowd who stood by and heard it was saying that it had thundered, and others were saying, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus responded and said, The voice has not come for my sake, but for yours. Now judgment is upon this world. Now the ruler of this world will be cast out. And I, if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. Now he was saying this to indicate what kind of death he was going to die. The crowd then answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ is to remain forever. And how is it that you say the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, 
for a little while longer the light is among you. Walk while you have the light, so the darkness will not overtake you. Also, the one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light so that you may become sons of light. These things Jesus proclaimed, and he went away and hid himself from them. But though he had performed so many signs in their sight, they still were not believing him. This happened so that the word of Isaiah, the prophet which he spoke, would be fulfilled. Lord, who has believed our report, and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? For this reason... They could be not believe, for Isaiah said again, He has blinded their eyes and he hardened their hearts, so that they will not see with their eyes and understand with their hearts and be converted, and so I will not heal them. These things Isaiah said because he saw his glory and he spoke about him. Nevertheless, many, even the rulers, believed in him, but because of the Pharisees, they were not confessing him so that they would not be excommunicated from the synagogue for they loved the approval of people rather than the approval of God. Now Jesus cried out and said, the one who believes in me does not believe only in me, but also in him who sent me and the one who sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world so that no one who believes in me will remain in darkness. If anyone hears my teaching and does not keep them, I do not judge him for I did not come to judge the world but to save the world. The one who rejects me and does not accept my teachings has one who judges him. The word which I spoke that will judge him on the last day, for I did not speak on my own, but the Father himself who sent me has given me a commandment as to what to say and what to speak. And I know that his commandment is eternal life. Therefore, the things I speak, I speak just as the Father has told me.